Hello and welcome to Shars Craft Haven. Today we're going to be working with text and path tools in Inkscape, um, designing signs, um, fixing um, issues with files you might have. But we're going to focus on taking text and using the path tools to create with them. So first off we're going to make the shape of our sign. And then we're going to type some text. So let's make this six wide, five tall. And then um, I prefer to choose um, texts that are thick. So something that has a lot of furly um, doohickeys um, won't work as well with this. So right now I'm going to use um, impact as my font and then gonna increase the font size there we go and then I'm gonna center it all right so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make a cutout so here we go um, char is home we're gonna go object and then object to path which is shift control C then we're going to do ungroup, which is control U a few times, and then path union. That's going to make it all one thing. And then the simplest thing we can do is to remove it. So path difference. All right. So if we did that, we zoom in here and this cut out, we'd lose the middle of the O. We'd lose the middle of the E and we lose this part with the A. So I'm gonna hold down Shift, and I'm gonna give it a stroke. So Shift, and then click a color. I'm gonna make that stroke a little thicker. I prefer um, 126 millimeters, and then we're gonna get rid of the fill. And so you do that by clicking the X without holding Shift. All right. So now we're going to go in with a path tool and we're going to fix those issues. So this A, so it's going to cut this out. So this is going to be uh, floating. So we're going to zoom in here. The path tool or the node tool, we're going to um, decide how we want to attach it. Double clicking adds a node. Um, clicking a segment selects both ends and then up here uh, we're going to delete segment between two non endpoint nodes. So we're going to do that same up here, delete segment between two non endpoints and then we're going to shift click, left click and then we're going to add a new line segment in. So that's the easiest way to connect up. You can use the align tools, which are shift, con, shift control A, if you want to make those lines all lined up. I have mine um, relative to last selected. So now that A will not, the middle of that A will not be taken out. We'll do the same for this O. This time we'll do it uh, horizontally just because. So I'm going to double click, add in a couple of nodes on each of these lines. I'm going to then go through horizontally, select all of them, line them up, do that for both sets of lines. And then I'm going to go through again, deleting the segment in between. And then again, selecting two points and adding in the segment. That way, that center of the O will be connected. I'm going to again, 
for this example, do the same thing with the E. This time, let's add it from the top, just because, but you can add it wherever makes sense. You want to make it so it's not too terribly small. Um, otherwise, with the, um, with the laser, um, you need to have a little bit so it doesn't, it doesn't get lost. And now delete between the segments and then select and join. And again, this might be a little too narrow, um, but for this example, it's just teaching the process. So now that is how it's going to look. So let's add a fill back in. And so you can see those center pieces won't be lost. A, uh, another way I like to make signs um, using the path tool is to have um, part of the sign above and part of the sign below. Um, so part of the sign will be engraved and the other will um, stand. So again, we're going to So we're going to have this in two pieces. One's going to be below, and one will be above. Again, for this, you could use various fonts, but I, I recommend something that, that has a good thickness to it, um, just so you don't have to make it incredibly large um, in order to avoid um, pieces falling off. And then, and then since this is engraved, it doesn't matter what font we use, we could use the same font or a different font. All right, let's make that a contrast in color. Okay, and so to use the union function, we're going to align this top and center, and then we're going to overlap this slightly. You want to make sure that each of the pieces is completely over. So I'll make this a little bit narrower. And again, line it up. And then we'll make this a little smaller. Okay. So again, um, path menu, path object to path, which is control, uh, shift, control C, control U to ungroup it a bunch of times, and then path union. So now it's one path. We're going to do the same thing with the other one. So path, object to path, and then ungroup, and then path union. All right. Okay, so now with the top and the background, I'm going to hold down shift, select both of them, and do path union. Now it's a single piece, so it's going to cut out around the entire thing. We can check and make sure um, that we did that correctly by getting rid of the fill. So there's a tiny little piece there, but I think that'll be fine. It'll accentuate the A a little bit. And then we don't need to do anything for uh, the bottom. Um, when it comes in, it'll come in as a path. And so it'll, all of this will come in as a cut line. You'll just need to select this and then change it in the design tab and click fill. And that'll turn it into an engrave. So it'll cut out the top of the sign and I'll engrave that. So say you wanted to engrave and cut out. So we're going to do path union again and then we're going to we're going to um, add this on there and just so you're able to 
just click engrave once, we can take both of these and do path union. So now you'll have a cut line around all of this and it'll engrave both this here and there. And you'll only have to click it once in order to choose the engrave settings. If you are sure of your formatting, you can do this for all the engraving you have on a given job. So select all the engraving, um, convert it to path, you, union or combine um, so that it's seen as one thing. And then in the Laserbox software, you'll only have to change it once. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, feel free to like, subscribe, um, add your comments, join the Facebook community um, for the X tool or the D1 um, and ask your questions in there. And as always, have fun lasering.